Folds. And we're going to see a lot of this guy. He goes in the second heat. One in Gotsis last year, upgrading his Rio bronze to gold in Tokyo. He hopes it will be gold here in Belgrade. A lot of work to do. First of seven to come shortly for Damian Warner. Meanwhile, the athletes for the first of the heats in the men's 60 heptathlon are out on the track. Scantling is an absolute mountain of a man. Talking about the American just on the far right. What a mod. These guys, are, they look like they've been carved out of granite, don't they? And that's to athletes for you, isn't it? It's just the optimum athlete for me. Good story from Scantling because he finished fourth in the US trials in Rio and almost walked away from the sport. Came back and almost won a medal in Tokyo. It's time on track for the men's 60 meters heptathlon. Warner in the call cool room for the second heat. It's so exciting now because we the momentum builds in the combined events and it isn't necessarily all going to be about Damian Warner. And, and, and he'll be aware, he will be acutely aware of what Maloney's just done. That puts pressure on the Olympic champions straight away. You know, that, that nature in which he won that Olympic title, re leading from first event to last, that, that's where you want to be, that's nice. I don't know, it's it, it, to be under pressure already in the first event. But I do think for the men in these multi-events indoors, it's slightly easier starting with the 60 meter flat. I think that's okay. It's much nicer than, than starting with the hurdles events like, like the women did. But, uh, these men will have to go out and try and see if they can challenge that 670 from Ashley Maloney.